This is feminine energy who feels caged in, but I feel you're protected. You're protected when it comes to blood ties, inner circles, and family. Someone's definitely under pressure when it comes to affairs of the heart. There's also gossip here when it comes to love. Affairs of the heart, admiration. Hmm. So for many of you, someone is expecting some type of love or conversation from you. Someone is wanting you to be entrapped by time, history, the moment. Hmm. Wow. So it seems like this energy has a scarce mentality or they're wanting you to feel the energy of loss. Wanting you to be too afraid to let go. Hmm. However, there is a breakup, a separation where someone is still expecting you to just pop up. This is someone who doesn't want to be obsessed. Hmm. This energy doesn't want to feel locked down or trapped, but they do want to come together. But I feel when it comes to you, emotions come and go like waves. I feel emotions come and go like waves when it comes to coming together or thinking about you deeply. Which is why someone is still expecting you to just pop up. So they don't have to feel obsessed about you. When truthfully, they're triggered. I feel this energy is triggered, but they're needing to take some time to heal or understand the truth. But I feel when it comes to the truth, they're lost. Someone is not wanting to understand that something has drifted apart or needing to be fixed. They're still in denial. And I feel for many of you, it's, it's tragic. Because it's energy, they mean well, but they never truly get it together. As I sense someone's emotions about you come and go like ways because someone has previously thought something about you that wasn't true. But I also feel what is heard or believed about you or even a situation is another reason they're inconsistent when it comes to their emotions or even their feelings. This energy believed that if there was no way that anyone could validate or verify a truth, their reasoning for doing something to you, that their actions are justified. But I feel this is why something is tragic because now something is lost. Someone's trying not to be obsessed about it, so they stay in denial, refusing to see a truth, face a truth. And this is why they believe you're on the verge. You're on the verge of reaching out or negotiating when they should be pleading for your forgiveness. Someone still thinks you may pop up or call them to negotiate, bargain with them, but I feel that this is connected to cloudy judgment. Someone believes that time is on their side and they could be overindulging, believing you still have love for them because of the, the history, the emotions. Hmm. But I feel you're no longer caged by something. Archangel energy here, you're divinely protected when it comes to issues of family. Someone is under pressure when it comes to Cupid's energy. There's a lot of gossip. Someone is also feeling alienated, but someone is needing to get a grip because they are the drama queen or king. Because they're always starting up something, whether it's with you or someone else. Someone is always pretending they're not in the energy of retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge. I feel this energy threw something away with you and now they're pretending they're shocked shocked and clueless to how something ended up as someone could be waiting for you to react or reach out to defend or correct some issues that they have invested in or created but someone is still not understanding hmm. i feel someone is under pressure and shocked because you're not calling you're not reaching out hmm. you're not trying to make sense of something that makes no sense at all you have cleansed your energy in some way finding a way to release them and I feel someone is under pressure and shocked by that because there's too much history here there's too much history here and someone feels it they know it but I feel the past is also affecting current circumstances and it's only bringing pressure of turmoil chaos wow Someone has a general feeling that something big has gone wrong with you, but they're refusing to realize it. 
they are pretending they're figuring something out, but they're only silent because you are. Someone feels like it's crickets, and this is not the energy that they're used to when it comes to you, but I feel the fact that they are distant and not running back with their head tucked between their legs is only because they feel you have receipts or proof. They feel like you're avoiding a situation, but I feel you're just avoiding coming back to this hamster wheel. You're tired of surviving this situation. You're wanting to release things that no longer serve you, and I feel you escaping something is causing someone to be weary, worried, exhausted that you are now over because this energy, this energy is still drawn to you. There's some type of unexplainable magnetic pull that this energy has with you where they feel that you should be emotional about the chemistry as well. But I feel someone is still not realizing that you don't have to react or give them any type of energy. And I feel that is also dawning on them. If this energy is still in a sense of hope, just so they don't have to obsess about you. Yeah, that sense. Your next season, your next cycle, will only require you to pray more, love more, and say less. Even when there is so much to be said. As I sense you're doing something without warning, really bring something full circle. That really causes someone to be obsessed. I feel this is someone who is in denial about something tragic with you because they know they were lost. Too big to keep something going, maintain it, so they stayed in denial, refusing to see a truth because someone didn't have the tools or the mental strength to give what was needed. Let's get some more energy here from a different deck. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Get some energy here. Hmm. Mental clarity. So this is coming out as a spiritual graduation from you for you. This is fulfillment, freedom, and wholeness, even when you don't feel like it. Not at the moment for some of you, especially when it comes to love or a wave of emotions. When it comes to bringing something together, you feel something is lost or will be hard to gain. But I feel there's mental clarity here when it comes to something coming together. This is mind over matter when it comes to an entrapment, something that you feel you were lost in or even obsessed about in some way. But I see you finding something through self-love, conviction, self-awareness. This is mind over matter, mental clarity, spiritual guidance, spiritual graduation when it comes to love. So for many of you, I feel there is something that's bringing something your way that brings in this emotion of waves. I feel this emotion of waves is clearly connected to you in some way. This is mind over matter. So this is something that is within you, within your thoughts, within your words. Hmm. Obsessed popped up. So for many of you, this is sustainable results due to something that you're doing, whether it is intentional or unintentionally, I feel it's big because whatever it is, you're being clever about it. This is you, page of swords. Whatever this is, it's bringing in mental clarity and mind over matter energy where you receive substantial results is through your words. Hmm as well as your thoughts. Hierophant en energy here, Six of Swords, Three of Wands, as well as the Magician. I feel your energy and your words are being heard louder than it ever has before. Through manifestation, progress, and moving into calmer waters, you have become the Hierophant as well. Mm. A teacher, mm. a manifester, someone who is living out of morals and beliefs. I see you soul searching, being alone, this is inner guidance through isolation. Many of you are withdrawn, but going through something, going through something big when it comes to purpose, renewal, faith, and hope. This is bringing on challenges for you and those who knew the old you. Mm -hmm. But I see protection while others are exhausted. I see you being more resourceful, resourceful when it comes to what is meant for you. Mm -hmm. 
this is inspired action for someone who is manifesting progress within their life. This is ambition action. Mm. Some of you are having an inner knowing that you are you're supposed to succeed in something, whether that is in love, life, career, whatever it is, it's big in many facets. I feel through chaos comes a shocking event, a sudden change. When it comes to an upheaval, there will be destruction through a tower moment, through negativity, but I feel a sudden change will also make something more beautiful and more satisfying when you get through the storm. Wow. So I feel like someone knows that you're trying to build by going into calmer waters for stable energy recovery whatever this is this is a shocking moment for someone who is still in a space of indecision someone knows that you're persevering with or without them and this is what's leading them to a space of unhappy emotions melancholy energy someone who is sitting in a space of indifference and dread regret but still being passive about being blinded to the truth. Eight of Swords. Hmm. I feel the prison this energy lives in is self-imposed through anxiety, helplessness, powerlessness. This energy likes the energy of control, and this is why they're always betraying others hmm. to control a narrative. Hmm. So, for many of you, I feel your voice and your energy is being heard louder than it ever has before. It's only because someone is wanting you, wanting you to be restricted, but I feel you're refusing to be knocked down, let down. I see you overcoming something, even though someone is still putting pressure on you. This is why you are in the strength of soul searching, recovering from someone who is betraying your trust. Wow. Betraying your trust by ruining a situation. They ruined themselves. Now you're in recovery and someone is wanting you to be restricted, bound, bound to temptation, manipulation, materialism, and addiction. So someone is wanting you to, to be just as lost as they are. But I feel you are stepping up in a different way, a way that they don't have the tools to do so. And this is why you're progressing while someone is falling off. I feel someone is wanting to tamper with your energy but it's become a challenge because you are protected when it comes to conflict. Someone is trying to create obstacles or they're wanting you to be defensive. Mm. However, I feel your ancestors are urging that some things are better left unsaid when it comes to how you speak on your journey or even care about how others speak on you. It's a time to relax, rest, contemplate. Here was the Four of Swords. I feel someone is wanting to provoke you in a fight, in a war. Someone is wanting you to compete in some type of scenario. But I feel you must understand that your tongue may be small, but it is very powerful. In fact, I feel it is your most powerful tool that is capable of causing immense damage or even repair. I feel someone doesn't want you to overcome what is meant to break you down or even confuse you. As someone could be trying to provoke you to go back to a space that you may have prayed to wave or already come out of. But someone is wanting you to fall back into old pleasures. Hmm. Someone is wanting you to be scattered. Someone doesn't want you to be balanced or even find a sense of purpose. However, someone doesn't realize that you are the high priestess energy here, someone who has the sacred knowledge, and I feel many of you have the pain and scars to prove it, yet I sense you must also know that your wishes, your thoughts, and your words all run hand in hand here when it comes to self-improvement and a breakthrough. New ideas, clarity. This is inner clarity as well when it comes to something that is lost, damaged, or even at a distance, but I feel someone is wanting to provoke you, provoke you when it comes to your words. Someone is knowing that you shine bright or you're a natural leader and they're worried. They're worried about being defeated. Hmm. Someone is still wanting to win at all costs at being smug about the truth, honesty, justice, law. 
I feel this is someone who wants you to be angry. Someone wants you to be in a space of poverty or a lack mindset just like them, but I feel there's change while someone is going through a harsh ending. Someone knows the game is over as you are going through a personal transformation. This is a victory for you when it comes to you. I see future planning, conservation. Someone could be saving money here, but someone is wanting you to go through a space of scarcity. Someone is wanting you to need them. Here with the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, as well as Judgment. Someone is wanting you to be judged for what they believe are your sins. So much so that they're wanting to provoke the worst out of you. However, someone is not understanding how big your manifestation or how big your powers are. Hmm, not in this season. I only see good luck for you in life cycles. Even if you've been going through cycles of bad luck or um, some type of resistance, there is a turning point here that is destined, bound to happen because I see you taking action when it comes to delays. I don't see you resisting. I see you learning. Wow, and that is what someone is fearing about you. In fact, it scares the shit out of them that you are inspired and you have potential and you are in a space of growth and true direction. This is why someone is wanting to spark something. It's wanting to spark something when it comes to your thoughts, your words, and even your energy. Because they know once words are spoken, they can play a role in the narrative they have already set for you. Because someone is wanting to control something where they have yet to do the hard work but I feel something is being given to you and someone is not going to receive I feel you've been very generous to this energy but I feel you have also realized that your words play a role in what you unconsciously accept or the path that you take and this is why you're choosing to choose your words wisely someone's wanting you to flip your script or just go insane. Someone is wanting you to come out of your comfort zone to deal with them. And I feel that it's just not what's on the menu. And this is what many of them are worried about. This is why someone is waiting on you to make a move so they don't feel weak or vulnerable by reaching out to you. But I feel something is going to become desperate for someone who has become so smug. This energy never thought that things would fall out the way that they did. But this energy is also believing and somehow has convinced themselves they're still winning. When from what I can see, they were bound to lose. This is the final deck here. Holy Spirit, final message. Final message here. Final message. Someone knows the game is over. There is an ending here that is unexpected. Someone also feel the worst is over, but I feel the worst is yet to come, especially when it comes to reconciling past resentments, things that are yet to be unhealed, especially when it comes to fairness and justice, because the worst has yet to come. Someone is still waiting on you to take action because it's the only way they can stop obsessing. But I feel someone should be very careful what they wish for because they have already reached a dead end. Hmm. So for many of you, your energy is not impulsive. It's reactive. Hmm. But it's not in a way where it's causing issues for you. I feel it's in a way where you're manifesting, manifesting your soul's desires or the end of something. The end to a beginning. And this is what you're taking action towards. You're letting go standing in your power and I feel it's going to bring in something very unexpected hmm. I feel something was meant to be temporarily closed but I feel it's bound to be at an end when it comes to you accepting and receiving something better I feel you standing in your power has caused the universe to have your back I feel the universe has your back because this is one of your biggest tests. I feel you being tested on how you choose to handle people or situations that played a role in deceiving or mishandling you. Because even if you have been in a place where you were able to recover or even cleanse your space or your environment, Spirit says it's time. Hmm. 
It's time to cleanse your palate. I feel it's time to cleanse your tongue because now that you have grown, your words are also some to follow. Mm. As I sense your words and even your thoughts have become so powerful. Mm. More powerful than you could even understand. Mm. But I feel even if you still seek closure or you want to address something, not everyone is ready for it. Yet, from what I can see, no one here, <laughs> no one here is clueless to the truth. But someone is waiting for you to take action so they can take the easy way out. <sighs> but I feel this is a moment where you could be reevaluating. I feel you taking the time to reevaluate some things causes you to step deeper into your intuition. And I feel that it's going to cause you to do the very thing the universe is waiting and wanting for you to do. And that's to just ask for help. From what I know, all you have to do is ask and you'll receive. But I feel in this case, for many of you, the answers will find you. Because these doors, they're opening, no matter what. You just have to continue to be and do what you have already done. And that's to save your time and energy when it comes to people, places, or things that you never broke. Because regardless of your effort, things will remain out of order or even broken. So even taking action towards something would be a waste of time because other doors are opening for you. For many of you, you taking action in a different direction is very shocking for someone. But I feel you're looking for more. You're going deeper. And it just might cause you to leave some things or even some people behind. Just so you can keep things positive. But I feel you keeping things positive takes you on another route where there is a lot of stuff that needs to happen but I feel you're going to come out on the higher end of things as I feel all will work out and your highest good you just have to be gentle with yourself and enjoy every step you take so you can take the time to enjoy the little things that can easily be unnoticed I feel this is a time for you to take action in a different way and this is asking for help and many of you I feel you feel you've already done that but I feel you were lacking the faith when you ask for help step into it know that it's already done because it is this is why it's time for you to let something go and take action because what is broken may always remain that way I feel it is not your task or even your burden to change any of this I feel it is your task and your burden to learn from it. As I sense in regards to you and what is taken from this is a chance to forgive. A chance to forgive energies that may not even deserve your affection or even your forgiveness. As I feel to forgive or have a chance to forgive so you can also be forgiven for things done intentionally or unintentionally. Yeah, you know, since for the most part, your guides are wanting you to remember with intent that your words and your prayers has the power to change people, places, and things. But I feel in this season, when it comes to expecting the unexpected, it's only because the stress that continues to plague you is no longer yours to carry. And this is why something needs to be stopped. And new doors are opening when it comes to you reevaluating and using your intuition as the universe has your back when it comes to a harsh ending. Where since you may have to be careful what you wish for, take action when it comes to receiving help as I feel there's a lot of things that need to take place but when it comes to you and the potential of what could happen and what should happen you must understand whether good or bad everything is done for your highest good 
as you must see, understand, and realize both fear and faith demand that you believe in what you cannot see, yet the choice will always be yours, so you must choose wisely.